The death of 22-year-old Gina Masa Amini, who was arrested by Iranian morality police for what was seen as unsuitable attire, has sparked sweeping demonstrations across the country and evolved in the most serious challenge Iran's Shia clerical establishment has faced in years. Despite the warning of the Iranian judiciary, for the 12th day, thousands and thousands of Iranians have taken to the streets of Tehran and 80 other cities, hurling rocks, torching police cars, and burning headscarves. In their attempt to suppress the dissent, the Iranian security forces arrested hundreds of activists and journalists and shut down the internet, making it more difficult for third parties to confirm fatalities. Reports indicate that hundreds have also been arrested, including human rights defenders, lawyers, civil society activists, and at least 18 journalists. The government has not announced the overall number of arrests, uh, but in the province of Jilan alone, the police chief said 739 individuals have been arrested, including 60 women. With the death toll growing, including women and children, the UN Office for Human Rights in Geneva is now very concerned by Iran's indiscriminate and disproportionate use of force and live ammunition against civilians, and is urging Tehran to respect the right to protest peacefully. We at the UN Human Rights Office are very concerned uh, by the continued violent response by security forces to protests in Iran, as well as communications restrictions affecting landline and mobile usage, the internet and social media platforms. Thousands have joined anti-government demonstrations throughout the country over the past 11 days. Security forces have responded at times with live ammunition. Whether or not these demonstrations will turn into political change in Iran is still too early to tell. But one thing is clear, the voices of Iranians this time are not going unheard.